All right, so the next thing is we'll learn how to add graphics or how to, how to add different elements and graphics into the timeline, okay? So assuming we want to add in some graphics, some elements, we can just come to the elements tab over here. You just click on elements and you have a series of things to add from. For example, you have lines, you have frames, you have arrows, different kind of colored arrows. You have different kind of new signs. And you can see a bunch of them, icons, different kind of flags, hearts. You can select this as such. You can search from recent ones that you've used or from favorites if you've started any. And from local, if you have any that you want to import, you can go ahead and import. Or you can check on Giphy if you are connected. Once you just con you are connected to the internet, you will have it connected to Giphy. So you can come to the different types down here. You have lines, you have arrows, you have colored arrows, you have new year, you have spots. So whichever one you feel like these are brushed shapes, okay? These are ink sketches. So you can just check around coffee, okay? These social, different kind of social and social media stuff. You can see travel, you can see love signs, you can see travel and birth, birthday signs, film, okay? Different, different types. So you can just go ahead and explore and see what you can do, what you may want. Colored arrows, I usually use colored arrows. So on any of, if you select any of the elements, if you want to just insert it into the timeline, you can do that by specifying the position you want to insert. Assuming I want to insert it at this point, position the playhead over there and just select a given element. For example, this one, I can just click on this plus sign and it's going to add it at that exact position. So you can see it has added it. You can see the preview over here. So you have the option to close it or you can zoom it or you can just resize it and select it, drag it, move it around, and maybe position it to anywhere you want. Okay, so you can decide to extend, you can decide to rotate, to showcase something. For example, I'm showcasing what I'm drinking, this tea, and you can just show it, you can see it over here. So another thing you can pay attention to is you can duplicate this and you can delete also from here very easily. And then down here, you have different kind of options to play around with, with as regards this very, element that you've brought in uh, for example you could flip it you can mirror it you can do uh, something like this split also and rotate and you can do cropping as well from here so but for now let me show you how it works for example once you are here you just uh, move and explain and then that arrow comes in and it stays on the on the board showcasing or highlighting my t and then it goes out and then i explain continue to explain. So this is how to bring in different kind of elements. If you want to bring in uh, others, you can come over here, select any and just bring it and just insert. Depending on what message you're trying to create and how relevant is what you have uh, going to, what is what is it going to add? Is it going to add any, any benefit or any, is it going to bring in any professionalism to the work? You can easily select and add it. Alternatively, you can drag and drop into the timeline as well and it's going to work the same way. So you can drag and drop, and then you have equal opportunity or equal footage accordingly. So you can just select, you can minimize and put it somewhere to just showcase my T and everything. Okay, so you can just come back here, uh, showcase how the transition is and how it goes out. So this is how to add graphics and do some other key things to uh, make sure you got your professionalism in the editing process. I think that does it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.